to sit down and sit around with people. Larry Hagman next to us. So what's going on, Mr. Williams? You're looking at the Jeffrey Henderson Show, and this is Larry Hagman vouching for him. You don't get a forehead like that without... Uh, Mm -hmm. Boy. Uh, right now I'm just admiring your amazing outfit. That's what I've been doing for the last few minutes. Al Pacino, how was that working without? Either that the LSD is wearing off or the suit is working. I'm not sure. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey Henderson, so what's up? This is Chris Tucker. What's up, Jeff? Jeffrey Henderson. You guys, do not go anywhere. We have a treat for you. We have a very special guest. We here with the Page Twins. The Page Twins. I do talk fast. Sometimes it don't come out right. But anyway, that's how we do it on the Jeffrey Henderson Show. So anyway, we were talking and expounding on the red carpet experiences. So now at this time, we're going to talk about a little further about that. Um, I want you guys to tell me your experience. The good experience with the red carpet and the not so good experience with the red carpet. So like it's, it's it's like for instance you guys are walking down and you guys have a long gown on you tripped and fell or a dog you know whatever just whatever good experience you have and then whatever not so good experience that you have how about okay oh my gosh not so good experiences well <laughs> we have an acting coach Johnny Vinegar and he always tells us about this one interview we did with him um, basically we like to throw things on each other like when we don't want to do something we throw on each other. So we both had a mic, and he's standing in the middle of us, and we're swinging the mic back and forth like, you do it, no, you do it, no, you do it. And Johnny's like, I thought you guys were going to hit me in the head with the mic. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like ducking like up and down, and we're like, no, you tell, you ask him, no, you, like, <laughs> we're terrible. Like, <laughs> we're always harming people. No. Wow, wow, <laughs> yeah. wow. We were recently on the red carpet with the uh, OC Housewives for Wines by, Wives by Wives event, mm -hmm. and you know, so um, that could get pretty interesting. I almost tripped on the red carpet. Um, <laughs> I'm the clumsy twin, so this always happens to me. <laughs> but, you know, what makes it even more interesting is the people. Yes. Um, there's really thick people in Hollywood, <laughs> I have to just say it, sorry. Um, especially the and especially, <laughs> I mean, fake, so, just fake. So explain to <laughs> me about fake, you know what I mean? I just don't get it, you know? I'm, I'm new in town. And I just don't understand. So that that won't happen to me. You know what I mean? What should I look for out there if I was just coming new from, like, a different state? Well, I mean, the patrons keep it 100% real. So we're going to, you know, Yeah, I want it that it way. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just make it clear. Make yeah. it plain. Have anybody ever came up to you as a producer and said, oh, I'm going to take your career to this next level? Oh, oh God. God. Yeah, all the time. I'm going to help you with this. <laughs> all the time. If you do this, I'll give you this. Have I you guys mean, ever run across some, anything like that? Every day. Like, really? So how do you... before Eric. Before, how do you overcome it? You know, how do you overcome it? Best manager, Eric Zuli. <laughs> oh, well, he's, he's the man. Now we just, you know, say, speak to my manager. Because before then, it was just all these people would approach us with all these things. Yeah. You know, and, you know, sometimes it'd be... They'd act like they're approaching us with business, and then they'd text us. And at first, it'd be like, so my show's about this. Yeah. Then 20 uh -huh. minutes later... So, um, what's your sign? Tell me what you like to do. Do you like to take walks on the beach? Like, it always yes. turns into people trying to, you know, get at us and talk to us. Yeah, so you and gotta watch out for that. You know what the number one, like, question is for twins in Hollywood? No, I don't. Okay. What is it? Um, have you guys ever had a threesome? Do you guys want to have a threesome? Wow. All the yeah. time. Really? All the time. Oh. <laughs> if we had a dollar, <laughs> if we had a dollar every time we got asked that, we'd be like oh, richer than Oprah. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> so as being twins, this is some of the pitfalls or some of the things that you pitfalls. guys go through. Yeah. It is because it's unfortunate <laughs> that they would say that. I, yeah. I don't even think like that, man. But that's, that's crazy. So how do you, how do you respond to that? Well, um, we we like to trick people, so you know. Put a little um, game in it then. <laughs> the funny thing twist. is that when when a man approaches her and she turns him down, then he'll like text me or he'll try to get my number. So then we act like you know uh, we're we act like we in we're into him, and then yeah. we trick him. We're like. <laughs> Every time he asks us to go out or something, we always make up a story and we do all kinds of tricks. Yeah. <laughs> so the joke, so the joke is always on on them. 
Always. No, not on you. Always. Or we're, we're like the disappearing act at the circus. It's like, oh, one second he asks that question, the next second, oh, where'd they go? We're already in our car and already halfway home. <laughs> we're like, we make it almost impossible to track us down. Like, nice, nice. every day for people. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the first for me. I wasn't ready for <laughs> I was not ready for <laughs> I was not ready for that at all. But it's just, it's just amazing on, on how we walk through life. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I mean, as a man, how I have to walk through life, I, I can imagine or just oh. think about what you guys go through. <laughs> oh, we go through some fun things. Wow. Um, people so. trapping us in our parking spaces, <laughs> yeah. following us home. Yes. One guy climbed on our car he and wanted to get on the car. He said, will you marry me to me <laughs> <laughs> on my windshield? <laughs> I had to wipe him off. <laughs> so, so it's good you got a manager now. Oh, so the best time. it, it, it kind of <laughs> takes all that away now. So now yes. everything is good because it has to go through your manager. And who's yes. your manager? Oh my gosh, who's our manager? <laughs> <laughs> Eric Zilly, we do things the easy way now. That's right. That's right. Yes. That is very good. And he's he's such a professional. Very, so he's, very. He's going to make sure that he does the right thing for you and also your family and also your career. I know him personally, and he's going to really take care of you guys. So he's doing a doing a good job, great job. So that, that's good we to know. We love it. We love him. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people do ask us, you know, racially, why do we choose a white manager? <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of black managers have approached us or tried to work with us. And then we mentioned we're with Eric Zuli now, and they get very jealous. Yes, very. Yes. But, I mean, it doesn't, you know, affect us. We're half and half. We're, we're mixies. <laughs> we're German, Russian, and black. Okay. okay. So yeah. it doesn't affect us at all. And we love Eric. He's very professional. And at the end of the day, you know, it's not about color. It's about who's doing the right thing towards our career. That's right. And Eric is already, you know, taking the most momentum for our career. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, we have, like... I mean, he just does the right things. We have been approached by a certain person. I'm not going to mention his name. But um, he approaches everybody in the mall to do pornos. We never go to Fox Hills Mall. Excuse me. Westfield, Culver City Mall. Yeah. Well, now everybody knows the do's and the don'ts of Hollywood. You're getting it firsthand here on the Jeffrey Henderson Show, and we're doing it the easy way. And uh, this is just amazing information because a lot of this information I didn't know and I've learned we all can learn something you know what I mean mm, every day we can learn something that we don't know about I mean especially and being twins to see this is my very first time actually interviewing twins so I'm tickled I'm sorry if I'm laughing so much or whatever but I'm just really <laughs> elated I'm excited and I'm tickled about what I'm hearing you know what I mean? Because they, they keep coming after you guys like that. That's just, uh, I'm glad you have somebody <laughs> represent you like Easy, Eric Zuli, and you guys are doing it the easy way. That is a beautiful thing. So now you guys are protected now. You know? Definitely. You guys needed to be protected. We needed that. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Eric, we needed pepper spray. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We still do. But yeah. We don't have Eric with us. Right. Someone actually broke our car window. We, have, yeah. we do have haters in Hollywood. We have a lot um, of. Enemies. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, so what? So, what do you think they hate on you guys, at all? Um, why do they just, hate just on because us? you guys are coming up and they're not really doing anything with their careers, and they're kind of a little jealous about what you guys are doing. Well, a lot of people, like I said, like earlier in the interview, we've been in a lot of places that people wish they can be. Like right. we partied at Jamie Foxx's house, wow. been around mm -hmm. Drake, you know, been around the biggest people in the in industry. Yes. So a lot of people like will come up to us and say, you know, you guys are pretty, but you're not that pretty, or it's only because yeah. you're twins, or whatever. You know, they have their own little yeah. skeptics about it. But mm -hmm. I think it's pure luck. The industry is a lot um, of who you know and a lot of luck. So this does make people very jealous of us. Like recently, like what was that yesterday <laughs> at the club? Like one promoter we know wanted us to be in his uh, VIP. And I then wish I could say his name. Another promoter hmm. actually grabbed her hand and pulled her out of the VIP and said, no, not the Page Twins. He is said, he said, this um, VIP is for my Beeps. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, wow. you know how yeah, some yeah. men feel the need to call women that B word. Yeah. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. And um, he basically grabbed me by the wrist, 
pulled me out of the VIP set. This is for my bees, and um, I don't want them here. And he said we were taking up too much space. It was just yeah. us and our friend. He put he had like 16 girls with him, and we're taking up too much space. Wow, wow. That is amazing. That is amazing. Hater stuff. Well, anyway, this is really good information. <laughs> You're listening and also watching The Jeffrey Henderson Show at www.klasfm.com. Thanks for watching.